In this video, I'm gonna give you all the things I learned that helped me to bulk up. In total, I added over 15 kg to my frame and got them significantly bigger and stronger. First, let's talk about how much you should eat. If you're not super skinny and don't have a small appetite, eat about 200 to 500 calories above your maintenance. And if you don't know your maintenance calories, go to a website and plug in your height and weight and keep that as your estimate maintenance calories. Also try to track your calories. If you're really skinny and have a bad appetite, my advice is to try to progressively overload with your food. Just like in the gym when your goal is to add weight over time to get bigger and stronger, your goal is to eat more. See your plate of food like an obstacle you need to overcome, like a hard leg workout you need to complete. If you want to track your food, it's fine, but it may be a burden and challenging if you start. So my simple advice for you is, just like in the gym, try to eat to failure. Next, let's talk about eating high calorie dense meals. Because you need to consume more calories than you burn, adding these high calorie dense meals is a game changer. But try to keep it as healthy as possible. Don't stuff your face with all of these high sugary processed foods. Now you might think, I can't bulk while eating clean. I know it's harder and less tasty. But when you eat a lot of these processed foods, your energy levels are gonna drop and you actually perform worse in the gym, which leads to less gains and more fat gain. Basically, you look worse. So, try to keep it as healthy as possible. When I personally bulked up, I ate about 90% healthy foods. There are healthy, high calorie dense foods, which I'm gonna talk about more now. My best tip is to start adding olive oil to your meals. When eating rice or pasta for example, just add a tablespoon of olive oil. It increases the calories and actually tastes way better. Also, when you eat eggs, don't boil them, eat an omelette or scrambled eggs for the same reason. Try to eat more fatty meats, like ground beef, chicken thigh or salmon. These are higher in calories than the leaner meats like chicken breast because of the fat in them. Also snack throughout the day by eating nuts. It can literally add hundreds of calories very easily. One thing I also did was consuming more full fat dairy. On some of my meals, I typically substituted my glass of water for a glass of milk, which added another 100 calories. So if you do that two times, three times a day, it does add up. You can also drink these high calorie bulking shakes. Personally, I've never done it, but I've heard it help many people. So if you want to, you can also do that. Now, if you're still a teen and your mom makes your food, it may be hard to get her to suddenly get and make all of this food. So first try to ask, and if that doesn't work, try to go grocery shopping together. If you are in the grocery shop, one, you yourself know exactly what to get, and two, it's probably easier to convince her to buy the food for you. Next, protein intake. Most people's advice is to get one gram of protein per pound of body weight. But when you're bulking, you don't really need that much. I advise 0.8 grams per pound or 1.8 grams per kilo. And here's why. Protein is very filling and satiating. So consuming a lot of protein will make it harder for you to eat more calories. It also takes a lot of energy to break down the protein in your body. So your net gain is lower than eating carbs or fat. Also, when you're bulking, your body has enough calories and won't break down any of the muscles. When you're cutting, eating high protein is very good because you need to keep that muscle. But when you're bulking, you don't really need that much. Plus, you also eat more. So hitting your daily protein intake isn't that difficult. My final tip is to try to see your bulk as going to the gym. Doing one more rep is the same as having one more bite. Eating high calorie dense meals is like your equipment, your belt, headphones and wrist wraps to help your training. Also try to get in the zone and focus. When you put your music on and focus, try to do the same thing when eating a meal. Try to focus on getting the food down you without any distraction. Because if you eat slowly, your brain will think you're full. And finally, progressive overload. Increase the amount of food you eat over time, just with like adding weight in the gym. And that's everything I know to help you with gaining weight. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.